Hello, I'm Felipe, 15 years old from Brazil, and my talk is called Invincible. So let me start with a question. Have you ever thought about being invincible? It sounds weird if you consider the word we live in, but that's true, I, I promise you. So I am here now because I'm one of those invincibles. And first of all, let me clarify something. Being invincible doesn't mean you will never lose again or you will always win, but the opposite. Uh, being invincible is have the tenacity to pass through everything head on, suffer with shame and defeat, and then get up to the next fight. Once Michael Jordan said, I failed over and over and over again in my life, and that's why I succeed. Uh, he's right, because if you think uh, your final victory, the trophy you are seeking the most and will make everything worth it, will be easy, then you define that you must change your mind, because it won't. And that's the reality, whatever you are. It's struggle to have success, that's a primal law in this society we live. And I know it's hard to deal with the pressure of our families and friends, but on us, but it can't be strong enough to grind you down. So you must be invincible in this world. Uh, exactly because you make so many mistakes, one after another, you must have an iron mentality. Uh, not to let it stop your progress. It's, it's hard, but at the end, everything will be worth so. There is all that idea of the ideal and invincible human that was, was never and will never be defeated. It sounds like Achilles or Hercules, but that kind of thing does not exist. So we are not in an epic Greek uh, tale. The real invincible human is the one who never gets comfortable with the victory, who is always seeking to improve and knows the depth behind sorrow and pain, taking it as fuel to get stronger. Life's not about everything going well every time, every day, but getting up after the most painful hit. It's hard, but every single person has to find his own ways to reach the goal. And everyone has a reason to be invincible. May it be help the family with money, support a sick or invalid one, uh, personal success. The reason does not matter at all. But if you will or not do it, if you will or not make everything to grow, it matters. And now you may be asking my reason to be invincible. Personally, I have a lot. Uh, it sounds cliche, but I, I do. So, my, my life has always passed through dramatic changes, and I'll tell one of them. The story is not just one event, but a loop in chains of dozens of bad events. So, I chose one. Uh, it was about two years ago. Uh, the main event of the chain got me hard. It was like a hard punch in the face. And I remember clearly Two years ago, one day, my father came back from work quietly, like if a million ghosts were surrounding and whispering inside his ears. And I was in the bedroom when I heard something from the kitchen. Uh, he said exactly three words. Uh, I saw it, he said. I remember a strange taste spread inside my mouth and I was like, what? He just so the company, incapable of taking it ahead thanks to the great economic disaster the country had before. So, it, after that, I promised myself I will try harder, uh, I will be better so I could help my family and be the hero I wanted to be. And so I did, in drawings and my violin writing, grades and sports, I grew exponentially in everything you can imagine. And I found my reason and I started to work on it. Uh, my reason to be invincible. So
so I was invincible at the point to have an armor that repels every arrow the world shoots against me. And I was like a lake full of self-confidence and strength and determination. So the abyss was like my pull-up. And it's up to you to use your sadness as the ladder to climb right to the top. Life gives you how many chances you need, believe me. And, and there's the question, will you jump on them and grow or ignore them just to stay the same? What's your excuse now? And I was under check. Uh, every roadway was closed, but just the weeks need available paths, so I created my own. And it's not an emotional story or a fairy tale thing, but an example that everything is small to the smile of the invincible. Uh, defeat is a word that everyone knows so well. But the real meaning of victory is known by just a few, and you can be one of them. So you may get up, you get up from the mud, right? Start looking with passion to the blue sky and start thinking on what to do today because it's your time to change your life and do what you think is better for you. And that's my message, so I hope you try to be better from now on and be invincible. Thank you.